This video is about predator-prey relationships and how they can affect an environment or ecosystem. This relationship helps keep stability in ecosystems, regulating population sizes in the matter cycle. Invasive species can hurt ecosystems if they have no predators. So let's go over our key terms here. We have carrying capacity. That is the maximum number possible of individuals in a species that the ecosystem can support indefinitely with its resources. Our other key term we used was invasive species. And an invasive species is a non-native organism that spreads widely in a community. due to a lack of predators. So there are some general characteristics of healthy ecosystems. And one way we look at that is looking at the matter um, flow throughout the ecosystem. This is easily described by kind of a pyramid. So the most basic thing in the ecosystem we're going to have are producers. So we need to have our producers and they are going to create our energy and they're going to be eaten by our primary consumers. We could eat them by secondary and then tertiary. And then whenever any of these organisms die, all of their matter is going to go back down to our bottom category, which is our decomposers. which you can see the producers kind of come from decomposers because those producers are going to use the nutrients that decomposers put back in the soil. So every level when something will die naturally, some of that matter is going to go back down to our decomposers. So you can see this is a closed cycle, so matter is not created or destroyed. The size of a group decreases as you go up because more prey is needed than predators. to keep it stable. And this is kind of easy to think about because if we had more primary consumers than producers, the primary consumers would eat all of the possible producers. Likewise, if we had more tertiary consumers than secondary consumers, 
our tertiary consumers could eat all of our secondary consumers and therefore our primary consumers without a major predator would become more abundant and that just creates a really bad imbalance in our ecosystem. So we can see by that that populations are kept in check by their predators. And this is where we really have to think about invasive species because they don't have predators. So no predators for the invasive species can lead to an unstable ecosystem and it's unstable they usually um, have large populations because of no predation. Those large populations consume all available resources. This leads to less resources for native species. So there is an example of this with rabbits. In Australia. They had no natural predator there. So they ate all the resources, endangering the native species. Species. So essentially that just led to lots of rabbit hunting and that's usually what occurs when you have invasive species is, is you almost have to step in um, and try and remove that species or else they will destroy the ecosystem until they can no longer support themselves because all the resources are gone. And that is predator-prey relationships and how they can greatly affect ecosystems.